Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. And on today's show, we are going to make a gluten-free sourdough starter. Just because you're a gluten intolerant doesn't mean you can't enjoy a nice sourdough bread, pizza, or focaccia. And it all starts with the gluten-free sourdough starter. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. Let's get started right now. So for starters, you're going to need a jar or a container and one that's relatively big. Okay, I have this jar here that I'm going to use. And the only thing we're going to need besides the jar is flour or gluten-free flour, water, and thyme. So I have here 25 grams of gluten-free flour. Now, 25 grams, if you don't want to use grams, you could use one ounce. It's a little bit more, but it'll also do. So 25 grams of flour, or if you want to use ounces, just use one ounce. Okay, but I, I suggest switching over to grams because it's so much easier. Okay, 25 grams of gluten-free flour. Now, the flour I'm using today is this Caputo Fiori Glute, which one of the ingredients in it is gluten-free wheat starch. So they have figured out a way to take the wheat starch or take the gluten out of the wheat starch. And the, the flour is amazing. I share this with you only because, not because I work for Caputo, but because I like this flour and it has great results, so I share it with you. Having said that, please use whatever flour you want, but if it doesn't work, it's most likely because of the flour. So the Caputo Fiori glute uh, gets the nod for me. So 25 grams of gluten-free flour, and here I also measured out 25 grams, again, if you want to use ounces, one ounce, of water. And I'm using uh, filtered water because your, well, your regular water's got a lot of chlorine in it, let's face it. So if you can use filtered water, please do. If not, don't worry, your regular tap water will work also. It may take an extra day or two. And speaking of day or two, as you can see, I'm just mixing the flour and the water together. Okay, and that's it. So um, speaking of, it may take an extra day or two, this process could take a week, could take up to two weeks, we shall see. But for now, we're gonna get it started. The beauty though is, it may take time, but very, very little effort. Th I mean, that's it for day one, okay? We basically, Mix the 25 grams of flour with 25 grams of water. And now we're going to let it sit. We're gonna cover it. I, uh, I don't have a lid for this, I used to, I lost it. So I'm gonna use a piece of plastic and put an elastic around, that's it. So I've even written down notes for myself, day one, 25 grams of water and 25 grams of flour. I'm just gonna keep track of this every day as we go along. But right now, I'm just gonna let this sit uh, at room temperature. Um, I'll cover it, I wanna keep it warm. And uh, we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. So I'll see you on day two. Here we are, day two, 24 hours later, not much change and I don't expect much change. <laughs> so we're gonna add another 25 grams of our gluten-free flour, and we're gonna use the same gluten-free flour throughout this entire recipe, okay? Just so you know. So, 25 grams of gluten-free flour, and we're gonna add another 25 grams of water, just as we did yesterday. And just as we did yesterday, we're just going to mix it all together until it's all incorporated. It'll be like a, like a paste. Okay, and make sure we got all that flour incorporated. Okay, and that's basically it for day two. So again, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cover this up and it's gonna rest for another 24 hours. And we're gonna continue doing this until such time that it starts to ferment and rise. So, for now, we just follow this process. There we go. Day two is done. Cover it. And I'm just gonna make my note. Day two, we added 25 flour and 25 water, and we'll see you at day three. 
Welcome to day three. And what I've done is I went and put an elastic band uh, around the base of the jar just to keep an eye on our uh, sourdough starter and see how it's doing. So once again, day three, I have here 25 grams of our gluten-free flour. Same as yesterday and the day before. Add that in. And of course, 25 grams of water. Add that in, mix it together, and get it all incorporated just as we did last time. Okay, and there we have it. There we go, leveled all out. And I'm just gonna slide that elastic up a little bit. And there we go. You could also use a little piece of masking tape if you want. Anything just to keep track of the level. All right, so just like every other day, we're gonna cover that up. And I'm just gonna make my note. Day three, 25 grams of flour, 25 grams of water. We'll see you on day four. So here we are, day four. And as you can see by our elastic, not much activity yet. <laughs> so, same procedure as the last three days. 25 grams of our gluten-free flour. 25 grams of our water. And once again, mix to incorporate. Okay. There we go. And let's adjust our elastic. Okay, we're all set. Cover it up. Day four is now done. Let it rest at room temp. And we'll come back at day five. But in the meanwhile, I just want to make my note. Day four, 25 flour, 25 water. We'll see you on day five. Here we are on day five. And let's take a look at our sourdough starter. And the elastic shows that uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we're starting to get a little activity, but it looks pretty flat. So what we're gonna do at this point, folks, is as you know, we've been adding 25 grams each day for four days, flour and water. So right now we have inside here a total of 200 grams. So what we're gonna do today, folks, on day five, we're actually gonna remove 100 grams of this starter. Okay, let's get 100 grams measured out. And there we go. We are at 100 grams. Great. Okay, so we are going to actually discard that. Now, don't worry about that. That part has done its job. It's spent fuel, let's call it. So what we're going to do now, because we removed 100 grams, we're going to add back... 50 grams this time of flour and 50 of water. So we removed 100 grams, we're gonna put 100 back in, in the ratio of 50 grams flour, gluten-free flour, and 50 grams of water. So a little more than we did last time, but it'll bring us back to the same level we had before we started. So, I'm gonna mix that together, and that's gonna be day five. And there we have day five. We've got our elastic there. We're right back at the level we started at earlier. And same thing, folks. It's getting repetitive, right? <laughs> I'm going to cover that up and let it rest again for another 24 hours. And I'll just make my note. So on day five, we removed 100 grams and we added 50 flour and 50 water. So we added 100 grams. Perfect, okay, we'll see you at day six. So here we are, day number six, and our dough still doesn't look like it's rising much. Maybe a little activity inside there. But anyways, we'll turn our scale on, and we're gonna do the same as yesterday. We're gonna remove 100 grams of this starter which isn't really starter yet because it hasn't started <laughs> but we're going to remove 100 grams 
And then we're going to add back 50 grams of gluten-free flour and 50 grams of water, just as we did yesterday. So, 97 and there we are, well, 101, that's okay. We're close. All right, so basically 100 grams removed. And we are now going to add, I have here 50 grams of gluten-free flour, the same Fiori Glute. And I have here 50 grams of water. And same thing, folks. Mix it together, get it all incorporated. Okay. And there we have it once again. We just added back our 100 grams. We're going to cover that up and we're going to let that rest again at room temperature for another 24 hours. Now, having said that, it's a bit cool in the house, so I might actually put this in the oven with the light on in the oven, at least till tomorrow to keep it, to keep it warm. Oh, and let's not forget day six, we took out 100 and we added 50 and 50, got it. So welcome to day seven. And I can see we've got a little bit of movement. We're just slightly above the elastic there. So it looks like things are starting to happen, at least starting. So same procedure, folks. We are going to remove 100 grams of our starter. Okay, same procedure as yesterday. 100 grams go out. Let's get that measured out there. 91. So that brings us to 95. A little bit more. Oh, that's going to be too much. Yeah, 107. That's a bit much. Take a little bit out. 99.75. Here, here's a little bit more. There we go, 100. Okay, so 100 comes out. And yes, folks, you guessed it. 100 goes in, but it's going to be 50 grams of our gluten-free flour and 50 grams of water to get us our 100 gram total. Once again, mix to incorporate. Okay, and there we have it. We're back level with the elastic again, as you can see. So, cover it up, and we're gonna put it in a nice warm spot again. Mark our tally, day seven, we added 50 flour and 50 water. We'll see you tomorrow. Here we are at day number eight. And again, we've got a little bit of movement there, folks. If you look at the elastic, we've got just a little bit of movement. So our sourdough store starter is definitely taking its time. And that's the thing about gluten-free, folks. It takes a little bit longer than a regular flour for making our sourdough starter. So I think you know the process by now. We're gonna remove 100 grams and we're gonna add 50 flour and 50 water. And let's get to 100. One oh six. Ninety nine point one eight. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's close enough. So a hundred has been removed, and as normal, fifty of our gluten free flour. Hmm. Get all that in there. I spilt it just a bit and 50 water. Same thing, let's mix it up. Okay, and there we have it. We're back at it again. Okay, and cover it up. And we're gonna put that in a nice warm place again in my oven with the light on, because it's still cool in the house. 
and mark our chart. That was now day eight, and we added 50 and 50. Okay, we'll see you at day nine. Here we are, folks, day nine, and looky there. We have got a little bit of progress, a little bit better than yesterday. As you can see, it is now above the elastic. We are starting to get some activity, folks, and that's what we've been waiting for right there. Okay, so you know the program. 100 grams out and 100 grams in. This is our discard. Okay. 101, 101 and a half, 100, there we go. Okay, so 100 out, 100 in, which will be 50 of our flour, and 50 of our water. Same process, but the encouraging part, folks, is we are here at day nine, and we're starting to get that nice rise is starting. So it's only gonna get stronger uh, as we continue to do this. So we will mix it all up nice and level. I think that's good. And there we go, folks. We're back at the same level now, at the elastic level, but the exciting part is it's starting to grow. So it's already starting, it's already active, but we want it to get to that doubling in size. We want it nice and active so that we could start to use it. And once we get it to that stage, it'll be easy to keep it there. Okay, so day nine, remove 100, added 50 flour and 50 water. We will see you on day 10. So folks, welcome to day 10, and what an exciting day day 10 is. Take a look at that. It has now doubled in volume. You can see from the elastic, and it is nice and bubbly. I want you to take a closer look. Come and take a closer look at this beautiful sourdough starter. Look at there, folks. Nice and doubled in size. I hope you can see that. Okay, and I want you to take a look at the bubbliness and the activity we have going on inside this sourdough. You see there, I'm gonna zoom in a bit, folks. You could see the bubbles. It's got some large bubbles there. Very, very active sourdough starter right there, folks. I love it. What I'm gonna do now, folks, I'm gonna do what I did last time. Here we are at day 10. I'm going to remove 100 grams and I'm going to add 50 grams of water and 50 grams of flour. So folks, day 10 was exciting, but guess what? Day 11, super exciting. I want you to take a look at this. Look at what happened on day 11. We are now up to here from down here, folks. It has basically tripled. Yes, it has tripled, which is typical for a regular sourdough starter, but not for a gluten-free sourdough starter. This, folks, is unbelievable. It's bubbly. It's risen nicely. And guess what, folks? We have got an absolute beautiful, beautiful gluten-free sourdough starter right there. This, yesterday it was ready for use. And of course, today it's ready for use. It's even stronger and it's gonna keep at this strength as we keep feeding it and going along, it's gonna keep at that strength. So we've got a very strong, powerful, uh, gluten-free sourdough starter that's ready for baking bread, focaccias, pizzas, whatever you wanna do, you're gonna be able to enjoy as a gluten intolerant person you're gonna be able to enjoy beautiful, beautiful sourdough products now very, very easily. And you saw how easy that was. Yes, in under two weeks, you've got a beautiful sourdough starter, okay? But yes, it's under two weeks, but it's only five minutes a day, folks. Five minutes a day to feed your sourdough starter 
and then in less than two weeks you've got a beautiful beautiful starter that will last you a lifetime folks just because you're gluten intolerant or you know someone that is gluten intolerant doesn't mean they can't enjoy great uh, sourdough foods. I really hope you give this a try. And if you're having troubles with your sourdough starter, try different flours. The flour I used, I know definitely works. Try your favorite flour, see how it does, but it should come out just like this. And you know what that means? Now I've got to start baking, making some nice gluten-free, maybe I'll start off with a gluten-free sourdough artisan style bread. Well, folks, Wherever you're tuning in from, I really hope you give this gluten-free sourdough starter a try. And as always, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, bon appetito.